Hello Aries and welcome to your message. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a prophetess. I hope that everyone is doing so, 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 so amazing at this time, you guys. Like what I, what's coming through and like what I want to say to you guys immediately is it's like spirit is like obviously like working through me right now. Okay. Like, and they're saying like, we know Aries how rough it has been for you. A lot of changes, a lot of needing to put up boundaries, borders, you know, like healthy boundaries. Um, I'm also getting like an isolated energy here, but I'm also getting like an accelerated energy where things are like starting to like accelerate forward. Like, like it's like you, you've, you've, you quantum leaped, like you quantum jumped or whatever you want to say, like into a more powerful aligned timeline is what I want to say. So I feel like things have been falling away. They've been being eradicated from your energy field, um, from your life, whether this is, you know, partners, jobs, friends, you know, just lack mentality, whatever it is. I just saw one, one, one as well. Um, yeah, I'm hearing great change is upon you. Great change is upon you. Okay. So let's go ahead and what do I want to start? Like, what cards do I want to start with? I'm just, I'm going to start with these ones for you guys. I have my Labradorite Dragon Protector here. Um, so I just felt called to, like, have the dragon present with you guys in the reading. This is fire energy, your energy, right? We're in year of the dragon. Um, there's a lot of, like, really heavy protection around you. So just FYI, okay? Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let the, my crystal sound bowl for heart chakra, I'm going to help, I'm just going to help open the heart a little bit and clear energy. Okay. So here we go. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, spirit guides, the highest white light and decree for guiding me in this message for Aries, for Aries, for Aries. Aries, you've known great pain. You've known great resistance. You are resilient. You are courageous. You are strong is what it's coming through. Okay, so first card out here from the Sun Tarot. Ooh, egotism. Okay, <clears throat> I feel like you've been dealing with a lot of people who like, they're like highly in their ego. I feel like you could be triggering the distorted ego within other people. You've dealt with a lot of these types of energies. There's Leo energy with the, with the sun here and like, you know, I just feel like, and then it's a five, like this is all about like change and transition. You know what I mean? Your flowers are blooming. Your garden is blooming. Your seeds are prosperous. There's extreme happiness here. But you've dealt with a lot of people who have tried to stop you. They've tried to take your power. Okay. Let's see what else wants to come out. Okay. Let's see here. Whoop. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Here. There's like... A whole bunch that just like flew out. Let's go ahead and what else for Aries? What else for my beautiful Aries? <clears throat> if you guys are new here, welcome in. If you are joining once again, welcome back, mi amors. Concentration. I'm hearing keep your eye on the prize. Keep your eye on the prize. You guys, today is so weird outside because it's literally like 100 degrees. But right now there's all kinds of cloud coverage that came in and now little tiny sprinkle water drops are starting to fall. So <laughs> like, this is crazy. It's very humid. It feels very like tropical-ish, you know what I mean? I feel like with the rain coming down the way that it is, this is about cleansing, purification. The water element could be very important. This is about for me, blessings raining down in your life. You've had to deal with a lot of people who have 
I don't know, I'm just getting like gossiped or, or bad mouthed you or they were like not nice with their words. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm getting like an energy of like for you, like why would you do that to me? It's like that, you know? Why would you do that to me? It, it's like that. Okay. So keep your eye on the prize. Keep constant, keep your concentration. Try to stay grounded as much as possible. There's a star energy here in the midst of your future. The star and the sun, happiness, healing, power, victory, manifestations coming to light, wishes being fulfilled. I have a five and a three. It breaks down to an eight, infinity symbol as above. So below what goes up must come down. Things are falling into your lap right now. They're literally, look at this. See, bottom of the deck is coral. So we have three, four, five. You've had to deal with a lot of resistance. That's what I said. A lot of people trying to, I just feel like people in the ego, like starting stuff or bringing, you know, dramatic drama energy to you. And you're just like, I don't want anything to do with this. I don't want anything to do with this. Okay. All right. So let's get one more and then I'm going to switch over different deck. Okay. Okay. Bottom of, so we have versatility coming out. Number three. So we have three, three here in the reading. Ascended master is showing up. You could be getting master angel number 33 or 333 a lot. This is about being versatile, flexible. Okay. This also for me, like about like embracing your versatility like expanding outwards branching into new things new horizons new new projects new creations new um you know passions things that like really intrigue you and then we have another star here on this card okay and we have for some of you guys i'm getting just like you've been really concentrating on like your health getting in shape some of you guys may need to like do some like stretches or yoga or running or jogging or walking like it's about like body movement like working energy through your body helping to release energy that's like maybe stuck pent up okay and then bottom of the deck here is flirtation i love it i love it we've got sagittarius energy showing up with this a lot of passionate energy this is very like happy go lucky this is like, I'm into you, you're into me. Let's do this, right? Okay, someone could be a musician or play an instrument, or maybe you're like, maybe that's a part of like some of your versatility. Maybe you're like wanting to learn something, you know? Maybe it's sound healing, crystal bowls, or, you know, different things. There is flirtation entering your life. <laughs> there is that. I love this energy, you guys, because if you've been with me for a while, like the past like few months, you know, I've kept channeling over and over and over. I was shown that in the, you know, when we have the summer solstice here in the Northern hemisphere, when it heats up temperature wise, your love lives will heat up too. And I've, I've been seeing it left and right. You guys, like, it's crazy. Okay. So flirtatious energy, you know, it's just like, I feel like just people are like intrigued by you, Aries. Like they want to get to know you. I'm getting like, who are you? Like you're this mystery. Okay. Like, so take it how it connects with you. It's like, you don't like put yourself out there. Like it's, it's like people, I don't know. I'm getting composure. Like you have great composure, but people are very drawn to you. I don't know. There's like all kinds of stuff coming through right now. So let's go ahead and get some tarot and let's see what the tarot wants to say let's see gosh you know what <laughs> hold on guys I'm just gonna shuffle it like this oh nope what else do we have for beautiful aries today oh seven of cups coming there's more clarity entering your life it's coming out of a time of confusion illusion I'm kind of getting like, you know, being in the shadows, you're shining your light very bright. And I'm, what I'm also getting is like, you're shining your light very bright on the illusions or people, people, other people's illusions, you know, around you. This is about options, choices, 
in love, in work, career, whatever it is, okay? So immediately we're getting the magician and then the five of cups. Do you guys hear the dove? Confirmation. So the dove spirit is here with you. Messengers of heaven. There's heavenly messages here for you in this reading, but this is also about you receiving heavenly messages. Didn't I say as above, so below earlier? And then we get the magician energy. See the infinity symbol? The cheetah is connected to the sun energy here in this card. So it is masculine energy, but it's all about like, what, I, what, I, what was I receiving from spirit? I said that there was fast forward movement, like acceleration, things starting to pick up speed here for you in many areas. Now, another thing is I think someone is really sad. I think someone's really sad. I'm hearing control freak. It's like someone was a control freak with their emotions. This is someone who is, uh, there's an emotional loss here, okay? This could also be a message just for you too about the emotional loss, things that you've gone through, you know, the lessons, the initiations, and now you're like in this full power. It's like you have all the, you know, all the tools you need is what, you know, a lot of readers will say about the magician because you have everything there to manifest your, your greatest life and highest timeline. But there's definitely someone here who's like regretful, okay? Just straight up Aries, someone is regretful because you know what? You are one of a kind. You're amazing. You're unique. You know, man or woman just doesn't matter. Like you're powerful and people know this. So people are intimidated by this. But also other people are drawn to it, okay? We have the daughter of pentacles. Oops. Beautiful rainbow energy showing up here. It's like the page of pentacles. Someone has been wanting to message you for some time. And I feel that there's about to exactly bottom of the deck is the will of fortune. You're about to have some kind of divine um, conversation moment. It's kind of funny because I just recorded Cancer's reading and they got a similar type of message in their reading too about this like someone from the past or something who's been like maybe watching you, keeping an eye on you. This is about destiny, the wheel of fortune, great fortune, riches, wealth. I'm hearing fame. For some of you guys, your name will be known um, to many people. You, you, you make an impact somehow greatly um, on people, with people. You know, maybe you're, you know, <clears throat> like an example is like maybe you have a YouTube channel or you know, you're growing, you know, uh, your Instagram or TikTok or Patreon or I don't know. Um, there's something very powerful about the work that you do. The owl spirit is here as well. So for a lot of you guys, the owl is coming forward for you. And beautiful Aries, we have a monarch butterfly um, fluttering here. It's, I don't know if you guys will, oh. Thank you. Thank you. There it is. See? Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. Monarch butterfly spirit coming forward. This is a passion fruit um, vine like thing at my parents' house because I'm like not in my usual space. I'm at my parents' house right now helping my mom. And the butterfly, the monarch butterfly. I mean, that's so beautiful as far as like transformation and rebirth. And you guys got it in your reading. Like how special. It's still just fluttering right here. It's just fluttering, fluttering, fluttering. But they do. They love the passion uh, fruit thing. Um, but I just love that it came in your reading. There it is again. How magical. And now it's starting to sprinkle again. It's just like so, I don't know. I don't know. Whoever this message is for, whoever finds this, like, oh my gosh. Like the will of fortune speaks of luck destiny the universal forces the universe has your back you guys you're very strongly like what you think about right now you bring it like that so if you're like manifesting like let's say you know increase in finances you know increase in your bank account increase in your pay or starting something new i don't know whatever it is it's like it's it's backed by massive expansive energy here okay um, as I, I was guided to just look down at the bottom of the deck, because I was going to start shuffling again and something said no, like look at the deck, King of Pentacles is showing up. 
I think that, well, the king of pentacles is the king of money, wealth, riches, right? He's not going to make a bad investment because he only will like invest in things that like, you know, he knows he's going to get a return on. Okay. What I'm hearing is a bad investment. I feel that, you know, whether this is you or someone that you connect to, they, they, they have regret because it's almost, I think someone chose another path, someone else maybe even over you. They prejudged or misjudged is what I'm hearing. And they could be a king of pentacles. It could be an earth sign. It doesn't have to be. They could just be someone who's like very solid in their life. It's also a very stubborn energy. So I just feel that. I feel like someone who like they have very stubborn tendencies when it comes to their heart space or their patterns in life. Okay. But and then after the father of pentacles is the five of swords. And this is all about feeling defeat and sabotage. This is someone who sabotaged and they are regretting. And I think they're about to reach out to you. Yes, they are. This is a soulmate. And then there's the dove again for confirmation. You guys, your reading is insanely beautiful. Are you serious? Like the doves are singing. The butterflies are here. Like what? Your life is transforming hugely. That's what the butterfly spirit was coming to say. There is a very powerful life-changing moment message if you guys don't like it, it's like forget the zodiacs like if this reading is your reading you should definitely possibly go check out the cancer reading um that will be like right underneath this because like their reading was just so like different but there was so many things like similar okay so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up i'm gonna leave it here my loves i'm hearing ride the wave ride the wave okay so and then, you know, the Eight of Cups speaks, or the Eight of Cups. Oh, I said the Eight of Cups on accident instead of the Eight of Wands, 40 and slip. So the Eight of Cups, it is. It's like, I feel it's like someone who turned their back or walked away is really, 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 yeah, I'm hearing expect a message, Aries, expect a message. So, you know, whether you're open to this or not, it's a totally up to your free will, obviously. But I think for a lot of you guys, this is a very powerful soulmate to a Cups that is uh going through a powerful crown chakra activation there's been a lot of awakening yeah this kind of energy has been coming through a lot but there is manifestations coming in for you aries like mc the lightning bolt it's coming in fast there's an accelerated energy with the eight of wands showing up and that's exactly what i said earlier about acceleration and forward movement in your life the wheel is turning here. There's there's a turning point here and it's destiny. So the first card out, <laughs> there goes the dove again. The first card out is the eagle spirit, challenging the status quo, new hope. Yeah, this is like opportunities that bring in new hope for you, um, that strengthen your faith because you deserve it. Being proud and regal. Yeah, I feel like this is a masculine energy who was very prideful. They were very proud. They, um, I don't know, I'm kind of getting like they could even be like, you know, like in the ego or like, you know, they just thought they were, you know, like, I don't know. I'm hearing God's gift to w to women. You know what I mean? Like someone who's like that man or woman, it doesn't matter. They just carry that energy. But there's something here. They're hoping there's new hope. And for you, there's just new hope falling into your life, like in many different ways. You had a lot of sunshine energy on these cards. You had a lot of stark energy on these cards. It's happiness. It's joy. I'm hearing the storm is over. The storm is over. You know, so let's see what this is. Jupiter, exactly. Look, Wheel of Fortune. You have the Wheel of Fortune twice, two different decks. And I even said very expansive energy. And then we, it's like so like in sync, so com like confirming. Expansive, optimistic, growth, luck, making stable changes, a turning point, destiny, grateful. Be grateful for the blessings that are coming to you now fortune, goodwill. Yeah, this is like, and I think for a lot of you guys, you know, it could be like winning the lottery. It could be like, you know, um, unexpected money. Like, I don't know, like, um, an example would be like a long, like a long time ago, I worked for a company and even like years after I was not working with that company anymore, they had a lawsuit. And then one day I got like a big check in the mail because I worked, you know what I mean? So it could be like something like that. I'm telling you, these are, this is beautiful. All right. Um, let's get one more. So I'm going to leave it here, Mia Moores. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, connect with my gifts, um, 
there are options down below. I have several different options for general readings. I'm also a past life Akashic reader, um, and I love doing the Akashic readings. They're so cool. Um, opening your Akash and tuning in to like who you've been in different lifetimes, etc., um, and where you've been. <laughs> and then I also offer uh, in, uh, intuitive energetic healing. So, um, you know, if you're feeling called to like, you know, like, oh, I need help with cord cutting or, oh, I need this or, you know, I just, I don't know. It's very powerful work. So um, it's all in the description box below. And we could talk more if you send me an email. You got the house. Some of you guys could be moving. I feel like this is moving in together with someone. King of Hearts is like the King of Cups energy. There's a lot of love here. A lot of stability. It says home. I think someone feels like you're home. Like you guys belong together. Okay. I mean, this could be someone new, but I'm feeling very strongly past past life energy here for, for many of you. Family, comfort, structured, building, shelter, boundaries. And what was the very first thing that came through when I was channeling for you guys earlier? I was talking about boundaries, borders, having healthy boundaries. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm hearing putting your foot down. You have to put your foot down. Okay. I, yeah, someone feels like you guys belong together, all right? And then the very last card here on the bottom of the deck is the road. It's about the road ahead. Crossroads, choices, a journey. This could be a travel, long distance, opportunities. You have two cards here that say opportunity. Or where did it go? Oh, this one, the eagle card. So there's, again, there's a lot of opportunities that are going to start being revealed to you. And what Spirit is saying is, like, don't worry about what it is, like, or the how, like, leave that up to the universe. Just trust. Have faith. Weighing the options, a road trip, someone making a decision. So I feel like that this could also be someone who's been at a crossroads and that they're finally making some kind of choice decision and then it moves the wheel of fortune, the wheel of destiny forward. Do you know what I mean? Also, this is a message of the choices you have made and that you've been making, no matter how difficult they were or whatever the case Okay, like you had to do what was right for you and uh, it's paying off big time here, like a big time, big time, big time. Okay, see, and even after the road right here staring at me in the face is the goldfish. And this is all about investments, finances, prosperity, money, income, commerce, multiply, everything's multiplying, it's expanding for you large quantities lavish okay so very lavish energy and bodies of water you guys this came through for cancer too so again um connecting to the water element connecting to the ocean water a lake a pond a, a creek a river i don't know but like connecting being near the water or like being in the water like natural bodies of water i'm telling you guys there's big money here big fortune big opportunities and I think someone has watched you expand and they're just like, I'm very impressed by you. They truly view you as their equal and you feel like home to them. It's like coming home to each other. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, my loves. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me on the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, okay? Thank you um, for your likes, for your comments, for your donations, for your... Um, your your super thanks comments all the things um those of you guys who do donate i always pray that the donation is returned back to you a million fold and so it is uh it is done um and what else i think that's it guys um i am going to be sharing on my community page so make sure you subscribe um sometime today i think um if not tomorrow about my ninth quantum healing activation workshop that i'm hosting um via zoom on the seven seven portal i got a very powerful call uh i haven't had a call to do one since the three three portal in march but this one's going to be very powerful connecting to the lyrans the lyrans the syrians oh the butterflies coming back as i'm saying this see confirmation you guys confirmation okay tickets are only 44 dollars um you know, if you're interested, you could email me now before I post, but I'm going to be posting so everyone knows, like I always do. Um, it's held over Zoom. It is recorded. So if you can't make the live Zoom when we do, you know, on the day of the workshop, it's fine. It's quantum on a quantum level, which it's not linear. That's like, right, there's like nothing. There's no barrier is, is what I want to say. So it's very powerful. And um, everyone who does purchase the ticket, um, they will receive the recording to keep. Um... 
but yeah so anyways the lyrans the syrians isis hathor and mahat okay so i'm so excited you guys and it's gonna help open so much up for us to align us to the with the lion's gate portal on the eight eight portal okay so anyways i love you have a beautiful day thank you again namaste bye